Good morning, let's rise and shine, wake and bake, let's burn one before breakfast. Here we are, episode 24, Little Blood Sucker number 2. Um, we're doing this camera angle um, throughout the duration of me painting this. Um, so the problems we had last time are the same fucking problems I have this time and I will not really be able to, you know, fuck with the editing. Um, what are we burning today? We burning fucking okay, with the fire on this motherfucker. What are you, oh! We are smoking roaches, people. Oh my God, believe it or not. Holy shit. Oh! Roaches. Well, let me just tell you, motherfuckers, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, motherfuckers. That's what it is, you know. I'm smoking roaches today. But if you can pay attention, you know, I do have weed. It, if you peep down there with the bottle of white paint, next to it you see a, a bottle of pink paint. And next to that, you'll see a jar. In that jar is some fucking weed. So it's not like I ain't got no fucking weed, but I need to conserve my fucking weed. You know what I mean? So, you know, what am I smoking today? Your boy, your man, he's smoking some motherfucking roaches. That's what it is. No big deal. We all been there. Um, tell you the honest guys, motherfucking truth. You know, you roll up some roaches that are good, good. That shit actually hit harder than fucking normal. So today, you know, I, I'm be feeling it. Yeah, I feel, you know, they, and it's good shit. So, I mean, it is. What the fuck ever is. Roaches. Um, as you can tell, the format's a little bit different today. I threw the intro up front. Um, because of the nature of this video, if you pay attention, you see um, right there in the middle of your screen on the floor, I have a little puppy, little bed. Um, and that's where the dog that you just saw, my little Chihuahua Miklo, that's where he generally sleeps. Pretty much since we got his ass, that's where he sleeps. So anytime I'm in this um, camera angle, I like to call God's eye view. Um, he, he'll pop in and out of there from time to time if you ever catch him. I was surprised on the last video he never was in here, but you know, at the time I was doing that, I had the door closed and he was in the room with my wife, so he had no opportunity. Um, today my wife threw some treats out there for him and um, as you can see, um, his bitch Tequila Rose um, she's out here, he had to go hide the motherfuckers cause she, she gonna, she steals his shit. So, at first he tried to bury the motherfuckers, you can go back and check it out, he tried to bury the motherfuckers cause usually I got a blanket or something in there, and he'll bury the shit under the blanket so she can't get it. She gets it any fucking way. But this time, he just said, fuck it, I'm gonna take all these treats and book it. And that's exactly what the fuck he did. She can come inspect it, you know, she come through just like any woman, man. They're gonna, they're gonna go through, you got some, you got some ducats, she gonna come through and take some of your ducats. That's just what it is, that's what women do. Anyway, um, uh, today I'm gonna be working on um, the skull. I'm gonna be doing uh, the red of the roses, the green of the leaves, and um, here and there working on some things, getting some first coats down, um, some second coats on the skull. Um, uh, I'm not sure how many videos this is going to be, you know, it's a, it's a tiny piece and the tiny ones really don't take me too long to do. Um, the filming and editing process do, so this actually takes longer to do in film than if I was to just sit here and paint it and dry it and then continue to paint it and then just, you know, keep working it through the day. Um, um, as you can see, um, I am not going to edit this video down. I could have chopped it in speed, which was like really my only option as far as editing this length of video, um, is that I could have sped it up 
And I'm not really a big fan of that um, entirely. If I speed things up, like believe it or not, the last couple videos, I did add a twinge of speed to it because I was trying to hit the, the you know 20 minute mark. Here I'm fucking running long. And the only reason I'm even doing that is because of the puppy dog drama going on underneath. I wanted you to kind of see how that plays out. There's really not much to it. And I still could have, you know, edited, chopped things out and fucking sped things up and shit like that. But, you know, hey, it's, it's entertainment. Fucking who doesn't love chihuahuas? Crazy ass, vicious ass fucking dogs. Maybe one episode I'll talk about the chihuahuas. I'm not gonna really talk about them today. I got something else I want to talk to you about. Um, today I want to talk to you motherfuckers about my favorite fucking monster of all fucking monsters, and that is vampires. Um, the reason why I'm even doing this is it, it harkens back to um, man, let me tell you, when I was when I was a kid, the first things that I would draw was was devils and fucking Dracula. That was it. You know, I remember one of the first horror movies I ever saw was Bella Lugosi fucking Dracula. And it was real for me. It was real for me like I, I thought he was really literally out there in the fucking streets you know hitting motherfuckers up at night you know and so that shit as a kid kept me up and then i remember um sitting there watching uh frankenstein with my dad and my dad was one of those people who um if if he could fool you he would he wasn't really good at it but if he had the opportunity to pull the little jokety joke he would and and he had me as a kid i was gullible i believed every fucking thing you know what i mean and so he, I, I was literally shaking and shivering in my bed every night thinking that fucking Dracula and Frankenstein was gonna fucking hunt me down in fucking little old Franklinville, New Jersey and, and fucking come get my little ass. Like, believe me, like that's what I thought for years, but I thought that what would help me is that if I, I got to understand them and watch them, so I started watching even more horror movies. And, and drawing even more monsters and shit. But uh, my all time favorite, you know, once I realized what it was, you know, I got a little older, vampires. I, I always love fucking vampires. I remember watching Lost Boys in the fucking movie theater in, in fucking Williamstown, New Jersey in the grand fucking movie theater. I remember watching it when it came out fucking brand new. It was the fucking shit. It was the fucking... It was the best. I also watched Nightmare on Elm Street there at first, when it first came out there, too. Crazy, you know, just, it just, man, old movie theaters, man. I used to work in movie theaters, and let me tell you. Anyway, um, just, let me just, vampires, man. And so, at one point in time in my life, um, I was a comic book artist, and I was writing vampire stories and drawing vampire fiction and stuff like that. And, and it was just, it became so much a part of my life that, you know, I would have, I have friends today that will attest to you that upon first meeting me, they thought I was a fucking vampire because I actually had fangs. Um, one of the, when I first, one of the first few jobs I got when I went to, when I moved to San Antonio was in a place called Fiesta, Texas, um, before uh, Six Flags bought it. It was its own amusement park. And the first year I was out there working in a place that they, they called the Boardwalk. And I was working the Ferris wheel and this thing called the Wave Runner. And um, the thing about it is, is that it was a, you know, a great job for the summer. And one of the people that I worked with was a college student that went to school at UT to be a dentist. And so I told her I love, I wanted to be a vampire. And so for Halloween, we had a Halloween show out there. She made me some fucking dentally made. I went to, to like where she went to school so she could put molds and shit on my mouth and shit and made actually dental fit acrylic fucking badass fucking vampire teeth that were fucking sharp as fuck. And color matched them to my fucking coffee stained ass yellow smoker teeth and shit so that no matter what they would look natural and normal and real and i, I wore those motherfuckers all, at some point in time 24 7. i was married at the time my wife fucking hated it um that wife hated it um anyway 
Um, but, you know, I, w I was living my life that way, you know, as a fucking vampire, you know. I read every vampire book I can get my hold, my hands on. Anne Rice was a fucking huge hero of mine. I was reading Interview with the Vampire and Vampire Chronicles before anybody even thought that that shit would even come to be a fucking movie. I was talking about Lestat and shit and what it was to what vampire and all this shit. And then when it came to be in a movie and shit, it was like people, people were looking at me like, what do you think? You know, it, it was just my whole life was vampires, vampirism, all that shit. Um, I studied it really. It became something where, you know, I had literally at one point probably 250 books on vampirism because and then not to mention what I was doing artistically with my books and stuff like that writing vampire fiction and so um, now in that you know the art part comic book work was really where my stuff where I, where I live you know I consider myself an artist way more so than I consider myself a writer even though you know I, I can write I just you know I just it's not my strength you know I'm I'm currently writing a vampire fiction today, honestly. Um, and, you know, again, it's not nearly, you know, if I was drawing it, it would be better, but I'm not trying to publish a vampire book. And I'm not trying to draw that anyway. Um, one of the first things I painted on velvet is, is in my intro, it's a vampire picture. You know, just this thing that, you know, vampires have always been, you know, my, my favorite thing. Up until fucking Twilight. Holy shit, Stephanie Meyer, man. I wish you would step in a bear trap and chop off your fucking pinky toe, bitch. Oh, fuck. I hated every part of fucking Twilight. What the fuck was she doing? Ugh. Oh, I fucking hated it. I hated it. Oh my god. And the thing about it is, is that all those fucking movies came out like in November around my fucking birthday. So it was always a reminder. I had to take this fucking skeezer I was dating with at the time. I had to fuck always take this skeezer to fucking movies to see this fucking Twilight bullshit on my fucking birthday. Fuck you, Stephanie Meyer. Ugh fucking hate Twilight. That was the most dumb fucking vampire shit ever. I would rather, I, I can't even think of that dude, Dracula dead and loving it. I'll give me that a hundred fucking times. Give me Vampire in Brooklyn a million times over a fucking Twilight movie. Fuck Twilight. Anyway, um, I would also say kind of fuck True Blood. I don't know the HBO series. You know, it was it was all right for for a minute or two. It was kind of you know kind of catchy. You know what I mean? It was it was it was okay. But you know, uh, uh, I'll take True Blood over fucking Twilight any day. But really, both of those fucking things can go to hell. Give me Buffy the fucking Vampire Slayer. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Give me the Blade trilogy fucking faster than any of that fucking shit. All that shit is fucking crap. Um, wasn't there a fucking vampire movie with um, that fucking, I think his name is John C. Riley or some shit. Um, I think he did a fucking vampire movie too. Um, but you know what? Who? What, what's the, what? Here's the question, right? What's what's the top five Dracula movies of all fucking time? Um, my number one is the Bela Lugosi Dracula, for obvious reasons. You know, there's there's no fucking comparison. Um, then we have anything by Christopher Lee is going to be in the number two position. The Hammer films. All that shit, number two for real. Number three, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Gary Oldman, and that's just because it's Gary Oldman. Um, Keanu Reeve can fucking kiss my ass, and Winona Ryder can fuck off. If it's not for Anthony, F Sir Anthony fucking Hopkins and Gary Oldman, that movie, that that's all it needed. You know, you could have done without those other two knuckleheads. I would have preferred Francis if you had just picked two strangers to just play. Cause pff, anyway, but that's number three. Um, my number four vampire movie of all time is Vamp, 
with your with with um grace jones man you you need to love vampires in order to fucking find that shit feel that shit and that shit be real in your fucking heart right vamp and unfortunately after vamp top five comes lost boys um i lost boys comes in after that because there's no there's no um the reason why i like vamp better than i like lost boys because those movies came out about the same time same same time frame uh, of movies the reason why i like vamp is and, and then Lost Boys, and then after Lost Boys, in number six position is um, uh, From Dusk Till Dawn, and you know that's just coming in at number six. Honorable mention. Everything after that sort of falls into the same ether of all being vampire movies. I think the next one would probably be Interview. Um, Queen of the Dam got on my fucking nerves. I liked it, but it got on my fucking nerves. I don't know if that's really that that one. Um, so it would probably go interview, um, then Fright Night, you know, if we're going to find our way going to t top 10, I'm not even trying to go that far with it, but, um, but let me just say, oh my gosh, vampires, they've always been, it's always been the best, they're, they're the king of the monsters, you know what I mean? Um, to be honest with you, then the only thing that fucked me off after that was like Frankenstein. And, and then there was this movie that, that was called The Dead Don't Die. I don't know if they're trying to remake that movie or some shit like that, whatever. But that movie back then fucked me up because it was about zombies. And the reason why that movie fucked me up was because it was about something that somebody said, my aunt and uncles had said in Philly when I was a, when I was a little, little kid, something about, about some zombie shit. And it was, and it was some dude around the corner. And it was weird because I remember as a kid going around the corner and this monster, this monster that I had believed would come to later haunt me. And I'd named him Murky Mundy, um, was a fucking witch doctor. And so I, I felt like maybe ever since I was five years old, I became a zombie. And then I saw this movie and it fucked me up because it seemed like it was real because it happened to white people. And I don't know, I, it, it, the mind of a child, right? But anyway, it fucked me up. It's still, you know, maybe kind of still today fucked me up. But anyway, um, my, my number two is Frankenstein. And, and to me, Frankenstein is really nothing more than a zombie, right? A reanimated corpse. You know what I mean? And then there's that zombie definition of, you know, do they have to be dead or are they alive? What's the witch doctor voodoo zombie? Or a zombie like, I eat brains, eh, you know what I mean? Um, it's hard to say. There's Zombies are fucking awesome. But at the end of that, I'm, you know, I'm not really a fan of werewolves. You know what I mean? A, a man that becomes a beast and runs around and kills, you know, on, on one night a month. Um, I don't know. It, that that was the, the only saving grace of Twilight, if you honestly ask me. The only thing that made me, I rooted for. I was I was what's the name? Jake Jacob the werewolf. I was team werewolf because I thought you know my Native American that touched me, that spoke to me, and I wanted to kill them shiny ass vampires because they the fuck they ain't even fucking vampires. The fuck. And here's here's how bad it is, right? I'm a huge baseball fan. So you would think that some place in there that it would touch me, that them fucking vampires were playing baseball. No, no, not at all. I, no, not, ugh. Anyway, fuck Stephanie Meyer. I hope she steps on a fucking bear trap and fucking chops her damn pinky toe. Take a sip of my coffee spark this doobie back up 30 minutes is long this is probably gonna be my longest video um and like i said the only reason i did it was because um the angle kind of screws things up the fact that i painted it straight that long is, it was an issue and then the puppies come in you know and so i just felt like you know what i'm just gonna let it ride for what it is and and try to got keep, keep you guys entertained um with you know a couple little you know glitch video and and some you know good entertaining story about vampirism right so prior to this where i got my my professionally made dental fangs i had ordered some fucking fangs and this is in 1989 right 
I ordered some fucking fangs from uh, uh, a prop shop in California. Uh, and they sent me these fangs. These were the best fangs I had in my mouth up until I got the dentals. And one night, I go out with my friends and we're going out to the club and we're fucking having a blast, right? I'm all cool, I'm getting all the attention that I usually would get going out because first of all, it was rare to see a black person in a lot of these metal clubs that I would go to in the early 90s. It was kind of rare to see black people in these types of, but I, I was, I, I've always loved rock and roll and metal and shit, so you know. And me being who I was, dressed the way I was, it really wouldn't have gone over well if I went to the rap clubs. I'd have more than likely been fucking stabbed or shot because, you know, black people were are not the types that are really fond of vampires and shit. You know, the closest it got was Blackula, which is probably my number 11 vampire movie. Um, anyway, so... You know, I'm out and, and I'm hanging there at this table. My, my modus operandi back then was to sit there and not eat shit because you could still, you know, there were some clubs that had fucking wings and hot dogs and shit. Not to eat because, you know, it makes, that's difficult, right? Um, and to, to drink shit, but to drink shit carefully because the, the moisture would lubricate fucking teeth and, you know, now they were the kind that I could kind of, if I closed my mouth, I could adjust them in, in, in my mouth. So they were all right, you know what I mean? But once they were out, you know, I had to literally kind of, you know, fucking fix it, stop everything I was doing and kind of readjust that right back in my mouth properly. And my other modus operandi was that, you know, I didn't really have to, you know, do much. I, you know, I was already sort of a spectacle and, and hanging with my friends that were usually like in a band or I was there to see one of my friends, you know, who was with other people who were in other bands, you know, I was around people who were sort of known in the groups and shit. And so I became something of a known person at first, you know, and then I was there really listening for the music for soundtrack for, you know, from when I went home and drew comic books till five in the morning. And, and so this one night I'm there hanging out, chilling out and there's this, this chick, right? And she's, she's, fucking bad ass i mean she's definitely an 11 and she's sitting there at the fucking booth and she came in with this dude but um they weren't their chemistry was that you could tell that they weren't together um and that um she might have been interested in him he really i don't think he was really interested in her but as soon because i mean he he kind of left her there really um anyway but in it, you know it was just one of those things and sitting there being drunk brushed together sitting there talking i had this bitch captivated right in my vampirism and shit and she was just you know and they were the teeth were strong enough that i could actually bite not draw blood, but you know, enough that I could bite her wrist and you know, put a little couple vampire marks and shit. You know what I mean? But you know, really, which is just another a way. To, and so it was, ugh, anyway, gross. <laughs> but, right, so here I am, macking and rapping, talking to this bitch all fucking vampired out, crazy fucking black dude, vampire in the fucking club and shit. What the fuck, you know? And, and we're having a good time and, and, um, we're sitting there talking and, and then she she has she asked me a question and I don't remember exactly what the fuck but I remember that I, I, it fucked off me because I had to sit there and talk to her now and so here I am starting to fucking talk and I became comfortable in talking and I had to fucking when I had those vampire teeth in my mouth, I had to be careful about how I talked. 
because if I hit the words with T's in them too hard, well, one or the other, or in this case, both of those motherfuckers would shoot the fuck out of my mouth because I have to, in using and making the word T, you have to fucking use the top of your tongue to hit the roof of your mouth and right there, the wideness of my tongue kicked both of those fucking things off out of my mouth. One bounced on the fucking table and the other one bounced on the fucking table and then off onto the fucking floor. Now, she saw the one bounce out and hit the fucking table. Even though it came out, she saw the, she saw the one on the table. She didn't see the other one going to the floor. I knew that it went on the floor because I could see, I, that was the one I was looking at the most coming out of my fucking mouth. But it was now that the motherfucker's on the floor and it's like, shit, it could have gone any fucking where on the fucking floor of a fucking bar club dark ass shit and so at this point it was like man um it was like coming it was like being you know that, that's it it's like unmasking jason and, and it's like no nothing not, it's like it's like oh it was the most embarrassing vampire moment in my life ever which is why when the opportunity fucking came to go ahead and have the dental ones made Oh my God, what an improvement. I fucking could make every fucking sound, do everything I wanted to do. They were perfect. They would, they would, oh my God, they would just sit in my mouth. There was a, she made them where it had a little bridge that went up on the roof of my mouth. So it gave them strength that it was, it was one piece and the, there were the two fangs were attached by that bridge and the bridge gave it so much strength that I could bite down and puncture into you. They were like vicious. Like I could, t I could eat with them. I could tear into meat with them. It was, they were, oh. The only thing that fucked it up is that when I got my tongue pierced, my piercing would get caught in the front part of the ridge and it would, un it would loosen them. And so at that point in time, I really wasn't Mr. Vampire anymore. I was, you know, a regular tattoo guy. And um, the, the, the tongue piercing was uh, more important. So, and then I ended up losing the fucking teeth. That sucked. Anyway, vampires, man. You ever see that movie, Vampires Suck? <laughs> Funny, right? That's, uh, let me just say, uh, have you seen that movie, Let the Right One In, like that Russian shit or with the little girl vampire, that fucking trippy ass fucking vampire movie. I was looked at, at that movie, um, Dracula on Netflix. Um, the, the, I think it's like three episodes long or some shit like that. Let me tell you, the first two or first whatever episodes are good. That last one, ugh, uh, fuck that shit. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm old school. I, I really have yet to see something where they have a modern fucking Dracula that, that looks good. You know what I mean? I'd much rather give me a modern vampire that's not Dracula. I, I can I can buy into it better. But, you know, I don't know. Dracula has been killed so many fucking times for me. I don't think you can even really bring back a good Dracula movie unless you're going to, you know, stick to the fucking script. And it's hard to stick to that script, bro. Woo! Dracula's a motherfucker. Um, one of the fucking first books I ever read cover to cover, Bram Stoker, Abraham Stoker. Badass motherfucker. Thank you for writing that book. Um, crazy book. Um... There was a, another vampire book, I can't remember where, it was like Caroline or some shit like that. Kind of like Elizabeth Bathory of fucking vampire ladies back in the day. That's some old school shit. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, I would like to thank my guest stars. Uh, Miklo and Tequila Rose in their first um, live appearance on the show. Um, 
them some bad little mo look there she is right there checking looking seeing if there's any heat he hit the ship there he's like look i hit it bitch they, they still it does she he but he get a snack he better he got to get two snacks because she'll take one she'll take a bow um Again, I'd like to thank you motherfuckers for, for watching, hanging out with me. I really greatly appreciate it. Um, stick with me. Um, I think maybe I got one more episode of this to that'll, you know, before this one is done, the smaller pieces go quickly. Um, and then after that, um, I got something special I'm going to be doing and um, starting something new um and so i want you to guys to stick with me so i'm going to be making the announcement on the the next episode of the little blood sucker like i said which will, it'll probably be the last episode um I, I certainly won't finish it um um my my modus operandi these days is to show you where i get the, the painting I guess about halfway 75% done and then I just go ahead and finish it off camera and I'm going to show you when I'm done um, I did that with Benevolent Boss I showed you everything from Jump Street to End Street A to Z all of it right and I filmed it all in time so you can see the process and know the process that's why I, was, I felt like I could go ahead and speed up a couple episodes here and there to hit the 20 minute mark I would have done the same here, but the dogs were here, so I felt like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to just leave it. Um, but um, basically, like I said, check with me next episode, the last episode of this, and I'll show you what's coming up new. Love, peace, chicken motherfucking grease, art by Cavo, and I'm out this bitch. Ouch! Watch where you're poking that, mister. Woo! We smell like weed in here!